So now we're in Adelaide, Australia. You can see around me. Trees up there, the dogs. We have a lot of the koalas are starting to come out of there. <laughs> the koalas are starting to come out of the burrows and they're climbing the trees again. So in winter, the koala it actually digs under the ground and has a little burrow. And in winter, now that the spring's coming, the koala comes out of the ground and you so often see them in the first, second week of September. If you come in Adelaide, you'll see a lot of koalas digging out of the ground and coming up the tree. So check it out, quite interesting place. Look at that, all the koala. So I won't aggravate him too much. We'll, uh, we'll leave him be. But that's quite interesting that the koala it uses wombat burrows during the winter for a bit of protection because it get pretty cold in the treetops. Some of them say, hey, I came to Australia during the winter, but it's in koalas. That's right, because they dig under the ground. And then in uh, October, we have the drop bear phenomenon where the, the mating season is. So if you walk too close to the koalas, they'll drop on your back and bite you in the neck. It won't kill you, but it can occasionally someone gets a few stitches or whatever, be like magpies, they swoop you. So stay away in October. But the rest of the year, you're fine. But if you want to see koalas, best time would be from first two weeks of September when they're coming out of the ground, and November, December, January, February, March is when they're pretty, pretty common as well. Because we always make sure we have some little guard dogs with us, just in case koalas get a bit feisty. We have the, up here we've got the German miniature pincher, and this is a, a Turkish greyhound, because actually koalas did live once upon a point in Turkey, but they got, they got a, some sort of virus going there with the, the fleas or whatever, so the, the koalas migrated down to Australia, swam across Indonesia, and on the Australian peninsula. So it's always good to have, if you're a German backpacker, it's good to get a, if you can find someone with a German mini pincher, maybe been been an escort, like this little guy here. It's really good koala guide dogs. They, they don't hurt the koala, they just, the, the scent makes the koalas a little bit less uh, perceptive to if you're a German backpacker. They might mistake you for a French or a Dutch, so you'll be alright. So just be careful with the koalas this time of year. If you're German backpacker, attacked by a koala in Australia, it can happen. Just be careful. Maybe wear, wear a bicycle helmet. Please exercise caution during drop bear season. Children should be supervised to prevent attack. Ha 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 ha!